Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Super Easy Math. Today's math problem of the day says a shape is created on a coordinate plane by graphing line segments between negative 3 comma 1, 1 comma 1, and negative 3 comma 4. What is the perimeter of the shape? Well, to solve this problem, I do want to have a coordinate plane in front of me because I'm going to graph these points on it so I can better understand what I'm looking at. So it tells me we're dealing with the points negative three, one. So that would be here. One, one, that would be here. And negative three, four, that would be here. Well, if I connect the lines of these dots, I realize that I'm dealing with a triangle. Well, the question asks, what is the perimeter of this shape? So to calculate the perimeter, you would add up the length of all the sides. When you graph something on the coordinate plane, you can count the length as the interval amount. So from this point to this point, I would go over one, two, three, four spaces. And then from this point to this point, I would go up three spaces. So I know the length for this vertical line is three. And I know the length for this horizontal line is four. Now the length I don't know is the diagonal line or the hypotenuse in this case. So I have a couple choices. I can use the distance formula to solve this problem, or I could use the Pythagorean theorem. My go-to is typically the Pythagorean theorem. So that means I need to consider a squared plus b squared equals c squared. When you're dealing with the Pythagorean theorem, it doesn't matter which leg you choose to call a or b, it just needs to be the sides that are touching the right angle and the right angle is right here. You wouldn't want it to be the one across because that would be the hypotenuse and that has to be the c value. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if three is a or if four is a. So let's plug the information in that we know. So that's gonna be three squared plus four squared and that equals c squared. So 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and that equals c squared. So 9 plus 16 is 25, and then that equals c squared. And I know if I take the square root of both sides, I'm going to get 5. So c equals 5, or this length right here is 5. Now, don't stop there. It's so easy when you're doing a problem like this that has multi-steps to just say, oh, 5 is my answer. No, it's not your answer because if you remember, the question asked, what is the perimeter of the shape? So we had to get 5 just so we could calculate the perimeter. To get the perimeter, we need to add the 5, the 4, and the 3. And that would give me a total of 12. So the answer to today's math problem of the day is 12. Guys, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can get access to more of my math problems of the day. And as always, here's tomorrow's math problem of the day. See if you can solve it before I do. Then head over to supereasymath.com and click on math videos. Once you're there, you can have access to all of my videos where I teach everything in order with notes the way you need it.